Hold up, give me Woo! a sec. Got him? No, I got hit the face. Alright guys, thanks for joining me back with another video. Uh, I've been kind of holding off on this video for a little bit because I wanted, I'm probably going to be changing a few things soon. But I said I'll just do a 2016 slash 17 gear bag and what's in my gear bag. I've had a few messages and a few people have been asking me to do this so I said let me just do it already. I know we're halfway through the year already but um, there's a lot of different things changing soon. Um, but here we go for all you guys who always try to do things on a budget this is actually a Coleman uh, like a luck like a one of those luggage luggage bags you can find at Walmart I think I spent 25 bucks on this it was on sale so um let's get right into it let's go right into the big pocket here so open it right up so this is the main main pocket right here big guy um, start off with some base knee pads uh, I've used some Empire knee pads before I didn't like them believe it or not I only spent about four bucks for these guys at Walmart and I've had it for about three years now and they have pretty much been lasting no rips no tears just slip them right up your leg just pull them straight in and that's it and they don't move and they're very very soft it's got some thick thick cushion there and if um you didn't need to replace them all you have to just pay another four bucks for some new ones so that's my knee pads here are my elbow pads that i use um these are the exalt uh, thrashers i believe and i had this for a while actually i actually have some new um elbow pads uh, I don't know where they are right now, but they're the new Bunker Kings. I can't remember the name of them, but I'll show that in another video if you guys want to see that. But these are my elbow pads. I'm not going to do a review of anything, but I'm just going to go straight to what I have in my bag. Here is the, my Exalt Squeegee. I had this for about 3-4 years and it's still lasting. So if you want a nice little squeegee for your barrels, spend the money for it. It's about 12 bucks. It'll last you a long time, so that's that. Then, this is just a little tactical bag that I have. It has like my camera parts and chargers and my spare parts and all that good stuff in there. So I carry all that extra stuff with me. I don't know. All right, let's get into. Now, this is cool. It's like one of those wet rags for the summertime. You pretty much wet it through over your head in the sun and it keeps you nice and cool. Works really well. I think I used this two weeks ago. I never washed it out, but it's still wet. As you can see, it doesn't even get dry. And it stays nice and cool. So these are nice to have in your bag. Also, got it at Walmart and like the fitness section. Oh, what else? This is, now, here's a little tip I'm gonna give you. When you buy things and Paintball gear is not cheap, depending on what you want. Of course, everybody wants quality. Um, and this has always been my thing. You want to protect your investment. You don't want to damage anything. You don't want anything to get bent or, or, or scratched or because it costs a lot of money for a mask. Now, this is a um, Exalt case for your mask. And I think it's a good idea to get these for your, your goggles. Of course, I put it in there. Let's see, and I have my mask in the bag. Now this is actually my first mask I ever had playing, when I started playing paintball, and I still have it, so I use it as a spear. A spare, I'm sorry. I use it as a spare, and um, it's still in good condition. I use it, anybody else come paintball with me, they use this mask. But for the goggle case from Exalt, it's got like the felt inside here. It's nice and it's soft. And this closes right up. And there you go. And it makes for neat placement inside your bag. And this is not in the bag because I was just using the camera for something. But there's my other mask. It's also in a an exalt case. 
I'm going to show that to you so you guys know what I use for my gear, for my setup and stuff. Mark, I'm going to get this out of the way. And then put that there just so you guys can see what's actually in my bag. So I always carry spares. So here's my black mask. It's also a V4 Squirrels. That's my GoPro session that I mount onto it. But um, yeah, so that's some of the stuff I have to protect my gear. I like to, you know, you spend the money on these things and you want to make sure everything is nice and secure and safe. Of course, we got some headbands here, head wraps. This is a Velcro one. Hats here, extra spares. Here is this little cover I put on my tank. Here's one of my tanks. This is a 6845 Ninja. I think they called this a ghost. This is my first HPA tank. And it's now my spare tank. Gloves. That's of course, that's one thing everybody should have. Winter time, you have the gloves. These are also bought from Walmart. I think I paid three bucks for them. What's the name? Gorilla something. But these are great gloves. They're really slim. They fit nice and tight. Skin tight, so they're comfortable. They're not too big, not too small. I think they were like four, three or four bucks for these as well. So that's what I use. Okay, and let's see. So this is another uh, exalt case for my barrels. Um, like I'm gonna stress over and over again, you spend money on things and you wanna protect your investment. You don't wanna lose anything. You wanna keep everything nice and safe and snug. And like I said, it's easier to put things in your in your gear bag, more more spacious, more um, organized. But um, so I'm gonna show you this in really quick. Sips right open. I have my, um, so if you see the inside, that's Exol, they're famous for their, their uh, microfiber inners in here, keep everything nice and safe, scratch free. But anyways, it has these loops and this is my uh, Freak barrel kit with the inners. And then on this side I also have another inner and I think this here is a, uh, maybe a hammerhead, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but I don't use it often. Um, yeah, that's what I have for my barrels. Then, let's go right to this here. Again, Exalt. This is for my loader, my hopper. It's a nice carbon fiber look to it, black with the green, right? And let me show you what's inside. That is my die rotor, which you guys have seen in the unboxing before. Um, it's the die uh, skinned navy, I believe. It also comes with slots in there for batteries. And there's a pouch up here I keep batteries inside too. And everything is nice and snug. Let's move on. Here, I actually leave this in the case. Um, some of you may know what this is. This is my Die DM15. That's the top. There's the DM15 right there. I love this guy. I got it. It's just so shiny and clean and beautiful. <laughs> this here. I haven't shown any of these yet, but again, Exalt tank case. It's like a white carbon fiber. This is nice. It's hard plastic, but or rubber, or I'm not sure, but it has like a nice little handle carrying case. 
When you're done with your hopper, you put it away, wipe it down nice and neat. And there it is. There's how it sits in there. They have straps to hold it down. I don't know if you use the straps, it sits right in. But it has the nice little felt or the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, the microfiber around it, keep it nice and safe and protected. This is actually a 7745 SL, the super light. And I love this tank. It's been a, a big gap in between me purchasing all these things. I haven't been really doing a lot of unboxings because I've seen so many online. It's just so many unboxings online and I probably should start doing them, but if you guys want them, if you guys want reviews, just let me know um, what you want reviews on. Here's another exalt lower case. And this is my new die rotor R2. Um, so far, I love it. I love that it extends and it gives you about 40 more paintballs. Uh, it's been flawless, no issues. I haven't changed the batteries yet. I've been using it for a while now. The batteries last really long. But yeah, that's that. For the, my gun that I use all the time since I had it, it's more like my primary. So first of all, here we go. Now the LV1 doesn't really come, well, it comes in a great case, but um, I'm the type of person I like to save the cases and keep them in good condition just in case I want to sell it. And it's really huge and I didn't think I needed all the things that are in there or the case to be stuffed in this bag and get indented is the manual and a planet eclipse of the one skulls and roses i don't know if any of you guys have seen this but um i love this marker you don't even know i gotta clean it i think i used it i think i don't think i cleaned it the last time i used it but it's such a smooth marker and Badass, even with just a stock barrel. But that's it. Let me get this back in there. On the other side, where I keep the barrel, the stock barrel, and the barrel cover. Yes, I like to match everything for my gun hopper, tank, and the gun. So that's that. Low handle, keep it nice and clean, and no scratches with everything else inside the bag. And I think I paid like 15, 20 bucks for this. I don't even remember, but. This is actually new, if you guys haven't seen this, this is my new Empire, Empire Pod Pack. It holds four, and then I only used four pods, but the last one that I had was uh, only three in the back, but this is so comfortable, I love it. The padding on the back is great, it's amazing. I recently got, I think I had this for a few months and never used it, and finally opened it out the packaging, because. Let me show you the one that I had before this. But this is a Valken. And I think it was a Valken Crusader pod pack. It was just, this is time. Updated and get a new one. But like I said, I always carry spares, extras. Anybody comes with me, they're all set. They don't have to rent anything. In the side pocket over here, I have just a headband. This golden boy on there. Uh, exalt microfiber for my mask. I only use it for my mask. Extra microfibers. I carry these on the field. I wipe anything, anything on my body, on my jersey. And then here's the, this is for my DM15. There's another. Extra just in case. It also has the Allen keys inside, which is pretty cool. Let me show you if you haven't seen this before. So you got your barrel cover, and then if you need Allen keys when you're chronoing, right there, boom, and you're good to go. So that's really handy, especially by the chrono. And here's some bug repellent. I always take this with me. Always good to have that stuff. Zipper. Open right up. Like so, and then I usually throw in a spare jersey. 
Um, toolbox. Like the tools. These are like warm packs for your hands and your feet. Um, here's my Insta bore my paint. And just extra little spare things here and there. Um, so that's pretty much it for my bag. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I wanted to show this bag to you because I thought it was a good price. It fits all, literally all of my gear. Um, I usually just take this bag. My um, my paintball caddy that I use, and you see tape all over my stuff, my paws and stuff. That's because I like to. That's just my marker. I know it's mine. But I take my paintball caddy, caddy that bag, and that's pretty much it. Everything else fits right in there. I don't have to carry anything. I usually buy paint at the field, and when I'm leaving at the end of the day, my paint's done. So I also have a gear bag for my TIPX or my MagFed stuff. It's separate. So I have this bag, and I also have a separate setup for my MagFed gear. Um, so if you guys want to see the MagFed gear um, bag, just let me know. If you want to see my MagFed setup and my loadout. Um, I run two different loadouts. I do a primary with a secondary, and then I also do just sec a secondary loadout, which is my pistol alone. When I only want a pistol, I have a loadout for that. So if you guys want to see any of these things, just leave the comments in the section below. Um, just hit a, the thumbs up, like the video. Um, if you want to see more of these types of videos, just let me know. Thanks for checking out the video, man. Peace.